for many business owners and managers. Simple tables in Excel or even Google Sheets act like reports. But in the age of AI, this just doesn't make sense. Hi, my name is Mattia from Zebra BI and I've been working in BI for over 10 years. And today I'm going to show you how to turn messy Excel sheets into awesome interactive dashboards with the help of AI. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our data. We can see here we have an Excel file that is the 12th iteration of this, which is probably a quite good representation of what's going on in all of the small businesses around the world. This is a sales report and each one of these rows represent, represents a car that has been sold. So let's say this was our car ID sold on uh, the 1st of February to a male and it was a Toyota Corolla. So uh, we can see that some of the data has been taken out, right, deleted here. And here's a pro tip. If you're going to be doing or using AI for any data analysis, it's probably good to delete columns and the rows that are empty. It may not impact the way that AI does the analysis for you, but it's better to have the data as clean as possible. Also, we would make sure that every row really is one sale of a car to make sure that our data is really the best that it can be. Good. Now that we have this, no column headers seem to be the same. So they're all different, which is great. We don't seem to have any merge cells and all of the numbers seem to be properly formatted. So for me, this data seems clean enough. And now we can start with the analysis. And before we continue, I would just like to tell you that the process up until now would be the same whether you're doing it in Excel or maybe if you're doing it in Google Sheets. The only additional step that you would have to do if you're starting in Google Sheets is download your file in the Microsoft Excel or comma separated value file types. We're going to do Excel right now and then simply use it with the AI like I'm going to show you in the next steps. So I'd like to welcome you guys to Zebra AI. You saw that we cleaned the data a bit before, and if you'd like to see how the data is supposed to be structured, you can download one of the demo files right here to see exactly how the data should be structured. But today, of course, we're going to use our own data, our Austin Auto Excel file for our car sales version 12. Yeah, just like we saw. And you can see that Zebra AI starts working directly and it's really working hard to understand our data. Now, this is the first time that we can actually interact with the AI and give it a little bit more information to understand our data better. Now, we could just skip this step and just ask it to analyze the data and the dashboard that we would get would be quite useful already. However, a pro tip here is to give some more data modeling instructions and of course some of our dashboarding instructions. Okay, so now let's first think about what we want. And I've already prepared a couple of a couple of instructions here. So what I would like is I would like to see a dashboard based on gender, body type, transmission and price. And I would like him to, sh uh, to show some trends over time and of course compare the different categories. Now, the one thing that I want to say here, this is a pro tip again, be very careful on how you write different column names. You have to be very specific. If you can see that we have a column named price here with, of course, a little dollar sign, we want to name it the same way here when we're referencing it in the dashboarding instructions. Okay, so this is our dashboarding instructions. And then let's see if we can give it a little bit more information about the data model. Okay, so the additional information we can give it is the data set shows sales of cars for a car dealership in Austin. That's us. And I'm mostly interested in the total revenue column, price, and the preferences of our male customers. The gender of a customer can be found in the column gender. Okay, I think we have everything now and now we're ready to click analyze data. 
you saw that Zebra AI gave us a little bit of a warning that we may have some duplicate values. So that's perfectly cool for us. But for you, this is maybe a very good indication to go check your data and see if you actually have data that's clean and that shows everything the way it's supposed to. All right, and here we have our dashboard. Let's check it out. So first of all, target marketing towards SUVs and hardtop models to capitalize on their significant growth while enhancing appeal to female customers and reversing hatchback sales decline. We have a great message that we can understand and then we have some data that also shows this. So the price in dollars, which is good, this is what we said we were interested in, right? In 2023, increased by 24.69% compared to previous year. And with January showing the highest growth at 103.32, which is great. Now, if we don't like the line chart here, we can also change this with just a click of a button and maybe get something like this. So this is a waterfall chart and we can see for each month, right, how we're growing. So this is uh, 2023, this is 2022. And of course, we can see that January was higher than January in 2023. And this is showing us very good stepwise how uh, we got to our higher number in the end. If the number would be lower, of course, everything would go downward. Now, if it's hard to see, we can also just click here and break the axis. This is also shown very well here, so we can see the differences a bit better. Okay, let's check out what we got later. Oh, SUV and hardtop lead price growth with increase of 62.8% and 48.13% respectively, while hatchback declines by 15.95. Now, the great thing here is that we can see that we don't only get this main message here, but we also get a little bit more messages with every one of the charts, which means that we could also just, let's say, share this chart and people would know exactly what they're looking at, right? Uh, and here we can see that our SUVs are really the ones that are selling the most and see the biggest growth from previous year as well, where hatchbacks, of course, have declined, just like the message told us. Now here, okay, we have our automatic car sales are doing better than our manual sales, and we are seemingly selling more cars to males than to females. Around 75.7% .7 of total sales in 2023 being spent by males. And this is again, it's showing price. See, you can see here actual price by gender. So it's actually showing us what we asked it to show. Here we have the summary as well. The dashboard indicates a significant increase in car sales revenue in 2023 with 24.69% rise compared to the previous year. And we can see this right here on this chart perfectly. So what I'm thinking is maybe to, to show this because this is a pretty powerful message, maybe what we could do is maybe we can delete this chart and we can make this one a bit bigger. There we go. Make it a little bit more obvious. And then we can also take uh, the break here away because now the differences are visible a lot more. And maybe we can also add another chart, which is what car manufacturer is uh, the best selling one. To add an extra chart to our dashboard that we already have is pretty simple. We can go up here to the plus sign and we can add the chart. And what we're gonna write is we're gonna write chart of total revenue by company. Company is, if we check out our data again, company is our car manufacturer, right? So that's why we have to, we have to name it the same way here as well, oh, like this. And let's press enter and we can see that the AI is already doing its stuff. And there we go. Chevrolet leads the market in 2023 with 4,627,000 contributing a 7.12% of all sales. And again, we're looking at price. So he knows the total sales are now our uh, price by company. Okay, and what we can do is maybe we can get rid of also this chart right here. 
and maybe just put this one here and now we have this beautiful looking chart right here that shows our best selling manufacturer cars all right um, and now we also get some advice here the car dealership should consider targeting marketing efforts toward promoting suvs and hardtop models as they have shown significant growth well that is very good and we can do this and we can check this out of course here as well the suvs have grown and also our hardtops has have grown quite a lot and now in our meeting with uh with the manager or the boss we can of course give this as a good recommendation of what we could do next based on the data that we provided him right um but you know we can do a lot more right now that we see that chevrolets are the ones that are most sold how about we add a little bit of and you can see i can come here and i can add a column here up to my filters right where I can simply filter all of these data right here to let's say Chevrolet's and now you will see that the data actually changed you can see that the message here has changed that the message here has changed and also our summary and advice have changed right see it's Chevrolet's hardtop and passenger models now. The dashboard is so interactive that when you pick a different data category, it can recalculate everything that you've just seen and give you different recommendations towards what you want to see. And it's a great way to get to know your data a lot better. And now what we can see that when we put the filter on here, it filtered this chart it also filtered this chart but here it just simply highlighted Chevrolet and uh, the good thing about it is if well now we have Chevrolet here but let's say if I would just delete this I can now simply go and discover my data in a different way I can also just click on a category through which I want to filter and it will automatically filter my dashboard to show me relevant data and we can see that our actual our best selling SUVs are actually from Dodge and Ford right so a little bit of a different view on our data and if we would like to put our marketing efforts into something a little bit different this is a very cool thing to see a little bit more into detail what the data is showing us so now that we've done even a deeper analysis into our data, we're finally ready to share this dashboard with our stakeholders. And the easiest way to do that is simply to go here to export and export all of our charts, all of our story to Excel. If we open it up, it's going to open up the Excel file. We enable editing. And now this is the cool part. You guys could see that it loaded in a chart like we have it right here in Zebra AI. So this one directly to Excel. It loaded in Zebra BI visualizations, which means that we can interact with this chart just like we did before. We can see this perfectly now. Maybe go here, change some settings like, oh, I don't know, maybe we would like something different. Maybe we want it to look like Power BI or maybe even create a custom scheme to match our uh, company a bit better but the most important thing that we can do now is we can focus on this number in September so what happened in September is we actually got a quite big order of cars from one of our partners a rental company close by but because at the time some of our systems weren't working this number is not reflected in the results of September the way it should be so what we can do is come here and change the September number accordingly so it shouldn't be 59 here but it actually should be 71 just like this we press enter and as you can see it changes the data on the chart it also changes our actuals here right for 2023 and now we have a chart ready to be sent the way it's supposed to look with the corrected numbers and all it took us was just a simple click.
correction right here in Excel. So as you saw, this is great for last minute changes before you need to send out the report or right before your next meeting. However, since we're in the new age, this is not the only way to do it. As you saw, you can also export directly to PowerPoint or my favorite, you can even share the whole story, which is also very easy to do and usually the best options because when you share the link with all of your colleagues, they can simply go to the same story and continue to work on it just like you did before. So they are going to be able to ask questions, interact with the charts and see everything like you saw when you were working on the story that you wanted to tell. And one thing you can also rest assured of is that your data will always be protected as Zebra AI can be privately hosted on Azure, which means that your organization is going to have a single tenant environment where all your organization's data, user accounts and the AI workflows are hosted on exclusive resources. So thank you data wizards for watching. I think you can see how this opens up the ability of every business to really start understanding their data better. And if you're one of them and you want to start now, click the link in the description below to get to try Zebra AI for free now. I'll see you next time data wizards.